So we're back. The rain has subsided and um, now I'm gonna kind of present what I have uh, for my equipment. So when you're camping, um, you know, I did change my shoes. I put my, um, my uh, tennis shoes on here and my Astras, I think that's what they're called. Just because the sandals, you know, it's wet, a little bit wet out here. It's really not that damp, but as you can see, it's a little wet and that's okay. You can set up your tent. It actually makes the ground a little softer. Um, so anyway, as for what I have for equipment, I have a lot of good stuff here. This is my first tent that I'm going to set up. It's a four season tent and uh, four season tents are great for, um, oh boy, here comes the rain again. We'll be back. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so funny. Oh shit. I was gonna tell her, just wait. Nope. She had to do this. Hey, Captain. Yeah. Fine. Hold on. Yeah. So sometimes in a camping situation or a survival situation, whatever you may be, you just got to set up your tent because uh, the rain is just, it's on and off. Um, I got a lot of good equipment I'll go through in a second. First things first, I got my tent, four season tent. I also have a three season tent for my, uh, my bags. My three season tent is this little cute guy right here, Nightcat. So, um, I'm going to go on fast mode when I set my tents up, but I'll just show you real quick what I have. I do have one little skillet, just in case. It's an uh, iron skillet. I've got a cowboy coffee maker, a percolator. It's a little big, so I don't know about this. Um, and then some uh, eating equipment so I don't have to pollute the earth. And a water, it's just important to have a lot of water when you're camping. And I have some plastic spoons and a metal fork here for camping to maybe flip an egg or something like that. In addition, I have these are my moccasins. I have my boots for hiking and for weather or rain. And I have my tool bag, which consists of some goodies here. So if I open up my tool bag, I have, this is a, um, a little generator, really not for much, but I can charge my phone on here. And it's a wind up generator. I can't remember the brand. Maybe I can get back with you on that or put it in the link. You can wind it up like this for power, or you can uh, do um, uh, 
the uh, it's got you know for the Sun it's got a little solar panel sorry and then and it's also or you could use batteries so I'm gonna need to get some batteries by the way I have a flashlight I got two flashlights here this is a smaller one and um, I have a thermometer I like to know what the temperature is for the inside of my tent and the outside. This has a hookup for hooking it up on the outside. It has a time, you know, clock on there and the humidity, stuff like that. I just like to know um, what it is. So that takes batteries. Got a lot of these baggies here to keep things dry. And here's my bigger flashlight. Don't need much. Um, these hooks for inside the tent, so if I wanted to hang up something, I could. And I have um, flint for fire. And here's a whistle and a compass on it. In an emergency, I can blow the whistle for um, survival stuff if I get lost hiking. And I have these little lights, really simple little lights I could put in my tent to make it look homey. And uh, so there's that have my journals and then this candelier this will keep me warm at night if I light up the candelier and I got some extra candles in here as well as my clothes and some uh, products some it's provisions toothpaste toothbrush stuff like that feminine products things like that I've got my clothes again I, I put them in Ziploc bags and compressed it and got all the air out so it fit in the suitcase really well and some warm gear. Got a uh, hammer. And um, I also have my sweater that heats up. All well, these are my pants, my NASA pants. Pretty cool, huh? Yep. Got my NASA shirt on here, Apollo. So I do have a sweater that heats up via battery and um, that is in here somewhere and so my hammer and uh, I do recommend getting a nice good suitcase like this one so this is my battery operated uh, sweater that I have in a bag so that I can prevent it from getting wet. Ooh, this thing's so warm. It's got a hoodie, it's an extra large. You know, the bigger the better when it comes to survival and in the camping world, and in the wilderness. And it's got a little battery pack here. You can turn it on, it heats in the back. It also helps with back aches, stuff like that. So I can put that in the description of which brand I got. I'll get all the stuff that I got, um, all my tools and essentials, put it in the description for you. So, I um, am going to fold this back up here. But yeah, so that's basically what I have. Um, and I also have two tarps that were small. They were like two bucks a piece on, in Walmart. And these will fit under my tent. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do is set up a tent. But these, these um, are really good to have under your tent to prevent water from getting in, of course. So, basically gonna get started here. And um, again, the journal, this box right here is just more candles. So I'll, you know, in the, I think they last like four hours or something, three candles in here will heat your tent up. And it also boils water on the top. It's called a candelier candle lantern so it's really nice so as far as my tarps go I gotta find them see you gotta make sure you have everything because I you know if you forget something it really sucks you know so if I forgot that I will be sad but I don't think I did it's just hiding somewhere I have a mult a multi-tool as well by the way it's essential to have you know a multi-tool such as this with a knife and scissors and can opener stuff like that um, I also have these bowls that pop
pop out. You can get from Walmart and you can put some oatmeal in there, heat it up on that lantern, put you, make you some oatmeal. You know, when it comes to eating, you know, a lot of people don't make it. Those people that are out there who have to have food, you know, all the time and all this stuff, they have a hard time. Just bring some apples, some oatmeal, some tea, some coffee, and uh, snacks and things like that. And you can get food. You know, it is a personal uh, thing. You can, you know, bring all the food you want if, you, if you've got that access. But when it comes to just bear camping and enjoying the wilderness and stuff, I think less is more. And um, so I try to just keep it simple when it comes to, to food. So apples, things that will give you those essential nutrients, carbs, protein, vitamins and minerals, water. You can live a long time without food, but you can't go very long without water. So it's very important that you have some fresh water. I also have coming in the mail a water drinker if I needed to drink from the stream, things like that. So it's like seven bucks on Amazon, you can get one of those. And uh, so as for my tarps, they're in here somewhere. And bring lots of bras and underwear. If you're a woman, bring lots of bras. If you're a man, bring some underwear, but you don't really need too many shirts and stuff. Really, uh, less is more. It's important to stay dry. So in addition to that, I also brought my rain pants and my rain jacket. So we uh, will continue onward here. And uh, my tarps, I bet you a dime, they're back here. I have a lock for my suitcase when I go on the airplane. I know the code, I'm not gonna tell you the code, just in case you happen to be on that airplane in that baggage claim, but I have it. I have a Space Kennedy Center Space Center rain jacket too, just in case it rains and hails. North Dakota is known for rain and hail. It's known for being 100, and, it can be 102 during the day and freezing at night with rain and hail. North Dakota, so. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the tent. Again, I got these tarps. We're gonna go ahead and stop the video and uh, do a uh, time-lapse video of your tents.